Excellent, and welcome to the TAD Summit Innovator section. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick off actually with Johnny, who's going to give a quick <clears throat> preview to our Thanksgiving special coming up next week. And then we're going to dive into uh, Kalyan's very interesting journey. So, uh, Johnny, over to you. Okay. Well, I mean, this is an exciting podcast, meeting somebody like Kalyan, who, who you met. And, and by accident, he, he created a business through yourself and Tad Summit and being involved and obviously having a PhD in life sciences. I don't think I'm qualified to be on a phone on a call here with a guy with a PhD. But so I'm excited to get into that. But look, the truth in telecoms, I guess, you know, Twilio, you mentioned the name Twilio. I've got like stock analysts following me. I've got like messaging. I mean, we've got 9,000 views on, on, um, on uh, the YouTube where we are yeah. normally getting like three to 800 from people within our industry that just, yeah. you know, want to know what's going on. Or exactly. Want to know the truth, but so we got a lot of pressure on us uh, for next Tad, Tad summit. So I want to, and, and look, and so I want to, I want to talk about, you know, a couple of things. So uh, Tata, take no prisoners, Tata. Uh, uh, I call them now. I've gotten some interesting information uh, through them and another company. So evidently, Tata is not as um, uh, as honest as they they portray, which we know now because they're taking on Bill Peters. Yeah. So you know, clearly they're they're taking the Avi Katz way out, which I want to get get into discussing how Tata is not going to pay the dent. And, but there's another company that they evidently had to deal with and took the IP and, and some really interesting stuff that I'm getting. Cause you know, Tata's got 10,000 employees. People are talking. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll see about, we'll talk about that and look, your call to action on the antitrust UCAS guys are now moving. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, I don't know if it's the CCA or the UCA or all these different people that have been calling, they're looking to go to, to, to lobby now the FCC. Cause I mean, a lot of these small businesses are getting hurt. Yeah. Obviously, they're going to do workarounds for IBM and and some of these other companies, but yeah. these little guys are getting crushed. Exactly. So finally, I think that's that's something we're going to talk about. And um, look, Cinch at twenty seven bucks today. I mean, I know. Clap, let's give you a clap, right? <laughs> Twilio, I mean, seven, 11 million shares traded at Cinch. So it's like the only stock in like Sweden, I think. And if they were, I wish they were on a U.S. exchange. They would just they would do really well. Um, Twilio sixty two, no volume. Yep. Yeah, link surprising, you know, hitting yeah. on seventeen bucks a share. I you know what that at eight, seven, eight bucks. So I think people want to hear where the numbers are. You know, I quoted yeah. where Twilio is going to be a hundred as soon as the as soon as the cash recycles out of it. Exactly, they hit another earnings. Jeff's probably sadly going to have to get rid of more people, or you know, I don't think he, he can do better than CPAS AI, which we are right now. I don't know what else he's going to add to that other than identity, which is something that we're going to cover. Exactly. And look, we got we got great news. We got Kevin Harrington, uh, uh, my golf buddy, yeah, who is the inventor of the infomercial, the yeah. original shark on Shark Tank. He's gonna he's uh, agreed to do uh, a podcast with uh, Noah Rafalco. He's yeah. interested in understanding the problem he solved, and uh, this guy's done deals with everybody from Kim Kardashian to yeah. Celsius. I mean. Like I said, he, he put out a post yesterday about some company he's involved in. It's got ice cream and and, and cyber security. Yeah, I, I, I don't, but I um, I got to buy shares because the last <laughs> time I passed, the last time I passed, if I would have put a thousand down, it would have been a million bucks. Yeah, on Celsius. When I told him it was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so, and he loves to rib me on that. He'll do that. Yeah, and and look, I think some of the stuff that Bill Dud, uh, uh, Mister Dudley. Mm -hmm. Bud, Bud, bubbly uh oh uh, yes yeah dean bubbly yes dean bubbly yeah so he actually got into it today he agreed to do um a dreamcast i call it with alan durick dorsten trap and yourself and him talking about this apple google whatever thing that you kind of shut down a little bit as far as what they're doing on the eu i mean look apple is forced to adopt rcs by the eu uh, yeah. What was the I, reason why they held out so long? What could it be? Who well, questions because, these private networks? You know what exactly. I mean? Compliance and position regarding well. TCPA, GDPR, yeah. California Protection Act, and all other other privacy paper tigers that are okay with large tech companies stealing your data and selling it? I mean, really? So we might have to do a whole new identity center because Agreed. what what we thought, well, actually, the guy from 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 one of the operators that wanted to join us. When we were going to buy the campaign registry, told me uh, a year ago, look, Google's going to buy the campaign registry and they're going to want that piece. 
Yeah. So shh, Tato, don't tell Tata. I don't think they're listening yet, though. <laughs> um, although they don't really have anything to sell, Tata. But they don't realize that the, the, the agreements carriers can cancel them at any exactly. time. Exactly. Exactly. So it's a joke. They they think they they don't have no idea what they bought, and we'll get into that Tuesday. Yep. So look, everybody, and look, get your tin tech here. Everybody, wake up, get your Tintech here. You know, Tulio, you don't get Tintech? You know, one of these voice companies with a lot of money are out there yep. going, oh, we got three contracts. Yeah, good. Next century when you guys uh, get into the game. So exactly exciting stuff. I think Truth and Telecoms is going to be awesome. And look, I want to start off this session by basically, you know, the one post you put, you put out that really everybody in the TAD community, which is something I've never experienced, is, you know, TAD is about enjoying being together. Yeah. And that photo you put out and all the people. I mean, you're not going to see that at any other event, um, any any other way, because they're all knifing each other. And, you know, so the, the Tad family is important. This podcast uh, uh, with Kalen is very important to me because it really shows the the, the greatness of Tad Summit and and what you've achieved in the last 10 years. And and we're going to build the Tad, like I told you. We're going to we're gonna get people coming to you, A, because you tell the truth, Two, because you're Sir Alan Quayle. And three, because the best people that I've met in any industry that I've been in or business that I've been in is Tad Summit. I mean, you know, uh, I can't even, I mean, and, and Celio and and just all these guys and just yeah. the class acts and Ken Huron and, and yes. all these guys, just amazing people. I'm like honored to be a part of this. That okay. being said, I'll hand it over to you and the guy with the PhD and, um, We'll, we'll we'll start talking to him about what he's built in and yep. where he's going. Exactly. So uh, thank you for that, Johnny. So uh, Callian, again, thank you so much for uh, being here. Maybe you could provide an introduction to you know, your journey to building uh, Moitel. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Alan, for hosting me in the TAD Summit. I never thought that I will be having, you know, uh, a call with you personally, uh, but it's good. I am equally excited to be here. Uh, so I never thought I will be doing some business. It was never uh, on my plate or in the career I have planned. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to be a scientist to do yeah. something, to do something for the benefit, you know? Yeah. Uh, but having worked in life sciences particularly, which is, is having a very long incubation time. You yes. literally, you will not realize anything in your lifetime for 99.9% .9 of the scientists. Yes. So it is a bit disheartening for me when I had got this clarity. <laughs> uh, yeah. And second thing, uh, you know, I'm from a place, a uh, state called Andhra Pradesh in India. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is full of techies, IT guys. Yeah. So if you look, if there are uh, IT guys, 50% of them will be Indians. In that 50%, the significant part is from Andhra. Correct. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so there is a tremendous peer pressure on you. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> maybe I have taken that peer pressure that uh, at the age of uh, 30, you don't have a home, you don't have a permanent job, you don't, you're still working on a yearly contract with the university. So it isn't something uh, that is uh, digesting. You know, I have a family to face and responsibilities. Exactly. Uh, then I realized that I have to do something. I don't know what I have to do. Mm -hmm. If I don't do, late, at the later point in time, I will repent. So let me do something. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Only thing I have is uh, ability to read, ability to comprehend, do some research. Yeah, That is the only skill I have at that time. So uh, any business, it takes huge amount of, uh, you know, investment, yeah. uh, big team, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to figure out what is that uh, that I can experiment with. I can't take money from anyone, right? Mm -hmm. I, I can experiment with. Exactly. So uh, I have taken a personal loan from a Finnish bank mm -hmm. uh, and what and have uh, worked on this B2C model of the VoIP. Yeah. When we have built an app, then came WhatsApp. 
So literally, the business model is dead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I don't know what I am going to make. So at that point of time, uh, instead of setting, buying up the telecom infrastructure, I have taken a hosted service, yeah. a Lithuanian company. And they have been a tremendous support for me. Uh, I would be glad to name them. Uh, they are Hobby soft. Mm -hmm. uh, so they offer this hosted soft switch. Yeah. They have been tremendously uh, supportive. You know, if as a novice, you don't know anything, right? Yeah. So I had so many doubts that they used to patiently re reply me. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> and uh, so with that, I have figured out what is what, what is a provider, what is a terminator, what is, you know. Yeah. Uh, coming from a biology background, this particular word is a very mind boggling terminator. <laughs> terminator it's in movie termination yeah. means something that ends Correct. terminator in a dna in a, you know in a dna sequencing that has a different meaning yeah. i never understood what is a terminator <laughs> so from there i have started my journey uh, right. then when i told them that boss i'm going to cancel your uh, contract this hosting switch mm -hmm. uh, their ceo uh, uh, had a discussion with him uh, over Skype, where he said that Kalyan, what you have built is useful for his customers who are actually service providers. Yeah. So that gave me some time to, mm -hmm. you know, to figure out how this business is, what is this? Um, you know, during some conversations, I got an idea that, okay, there is another uh, way to do business, which is uh, B2B. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Then I came across a company uh, from India. Uh, maybe I will not name them. Uh, uh, who <laughs> you have, <can> name them. <laughs> uh, so who were struggling in scaling up? Um, At the time, they had some provider. Yeah. Uh, some quality issues were there with the scaling up. Gotcha. So with the help of my vendor, I have uh, helped them scale up. Gotcha. Uh, it's not just because I never thought that my motto is only making money. Mm -hmm. My motto is to prove myself, whether I can stand up uh, on my feet, you know, yeah. uh, and can I make my career exactly or not? Yeah. So with that in mind, uh, I didn't think what I am making, but I thought I I should deliver uh, something that is best for them to grow. Exactly. And so that retainability, retaining that customer was my main uh, focus. Understood. So somehow uh, our combination clicked in and they, ha they have scaled up. Uh, mm -hmm. Now they are India's second largest uh, business in their niche. It's Understood. not a, yeah, yeah. in the domain they work. They are the uh, second largest company. So with them, I have grown or we have grown. Uh, yep. So basically we are a, a small company, a family company, mm -hmm. me and Swati uh, take mm -hmm. care of this business yep. where I have been the uh, face of the business in terms of customers, relations, vendor relations, Business, you know, uh, yep. business logic. She has been the backbone <laughs> in terms of administration. Sure. So we have survived. I would say it's it hasn't been always a cakewalk. So we have faced, uh, you know, COVID. A yep. small business withstanding COVID is not an easy thing. No. So initial, uh, like in the first three years or four years, we didn't have anything that that makes a customer stick to us because all a customer requires is three things, username, password, domain, and he's yeah. out. Yeah. So it was a price. Uh, it was a tough competition. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone, uh, I say uh, something, I say X, somebody comes up and say X by two. Yeah. X by three. So it yeah. was difficult to uh, retain customers. So during COVID, Customers also couldn't work, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. 
the business model on which they have built was centralized but okay. now the customers the, their agents their uh, hierarchy yes of team is, yeah. is discussed yeah we wanted a different solution uh that helps them yeah so the four or five months of close down you know uh, yep. when businesses were down uh, i was uh, like okay this is my last uh thing i can do so we have worked on our customer portal mm-hmm. where a lot of self service uh, yeah. made possible yeah so then we have we were able to get back our customers mm-hmm. uh while the you know uh, nothing is perfect no no nothing is perfect it is a gradual and or consistently we are improving uh one after another the, our customers have also have been very patient and very supportive in you know yeah. uh, helping us understand their requirements and we have very specifically built uh, our model mm-hmm. around a small segment of uh, business Understood. so if you look at any other voip company or a telecom company they have a variety of customers they have contact centers they have businesses they have something they have something yeah yeah we are very much narrow and focused yeah like the 99.9% of our business comes from a single segment of the market gotcha yeah which is actually i would say untapped oh it's not a big it's not no, a big but yeah market but we have proved that our business perfectly fits into their uh, business process exactly yeah so we have give, like after working with us you know uh, word of mouth publicity yes uh, that itself uh, got us uh, more and more customers even now i would say uh, we don't have on field sales team we don't have on field marketing team mm-hmm. we are in finland our customers are far away in another continent yeah wow talk about the right place the right time and and in the right niche no no alan oh yeah absolutely and I it's mean, interesting you know, it's amazing yeah. story but covid has caused a switch that several companies particularly those that were in the software as a service business have been able to take advantage of it's like um with contact centers all of a sudden you know the in on prem contact center didn't make business sense anymore because all the agents were at home and they were distributed and you needed to put an overlay on top and that overlay worked worked reliably and it was a fraction of the cost for adding in features and integrations so then they were like well why do we need this on prem expensive system and we've seen a lot of customers migrate to software as a service uh in contact i'm using just contact center here as a, a generic example yeah, i mean look the, the, the niche here that he exactly. found exactly on tap i mean so yeah. so you found an untapped market you come from a, a country where everybody's it you have a phd in life sciences and you come out and become successful and in finland i mean that's a story now um, that's a serious story it's an amazing it's a great story it's, it is um, absolutely and you, you did you were alan was telling me that somebody approached you to acquire you uh actually uh, so, so we have been self sufficient as of now great but technology is moving so fast uh our own resources will be uh, difficult to you know to adopt the new emerging ai or mm ml or llms because i see a very good use case for our customer base mm-hmm. uh, but doing that alone by ourselves is going to be a very long time and you know the nitty gritty standardization it's going to be taking a lot of time so what we were thinking is how can we make things faster either we work in partnership with uh, somebody who has this technology or you know uh, so if we consider this aiilm who is having that but doesn't have the voice capabilities we are a good fit 
for uh, you know you yeah. call it merger you call it acquisition you call it uh, whatever is it that is a good I, we were also thinking like you know strategic uh, some strategic i don't know oh, if you yeah. what you call it or investment yeah uh, yeah strategic investment uh, we have also received an interesting proposition from one of our uh, key member in the supply chain if i mm-hmm. say the vendor yeah. to customer is a supply chain yeah we have got a uh, you know proposal it's not a it's not in terms of numbers but in terms of idea yeah you know whether we would be interested in uh, you know uh, onboarding uh, new uh, you know partners yes yeah uh, <laughs> hey, but best kinds of deal those are the best kinds of deal we talked about it alan you know you start walking with a partner the minute you exactly. hire a banker this so. is that's the kind of deals that happen Go, my friend you're in a really good position you should really jump all over that because and obviously start that relationship because so many companies, you know, want to sell their company. They hire bankers, and by the time they're done, they end up not selling it or, or yeah. getting lowballed, or you know, that's, that's a that's bad the natural. You yeah, know, this, that's just a natural situation. It's the, exactly. the best. I'm so happy for you. I mean, truth is, I mean, Alan, you need to put this podcast out on him because he's an inspiration for everybody in his country. Yes, uh, and oh, all those absolutely. IT guys that are probably frustrated and working for different companies and getting their salaries decreased not increased i mean you talk about an inspirational story yeah. and and you guys all met you met at tad summit or how did you two guys how did the tad summit connection happen here and oh, and yeah so that is also a part of very interesting see when i ventured into this telecommunication i have no knowledge of the industry right it's a blank slate but i need to learn i need to keep myself updated for me uh, when i started twilio was an inspiration but i never understood like uh, it is the only company talking about something something which no which is not so much prevalent in the online so yeah. i never understood what twilio actually doing yeah they don't either they keep changing they keep <laughs> changing their names and it's just a wall street game <laughs> don't don't rack your head on it they just became an ai so, company next week they'll be identity yeah <laughs> so i wanted to attend this tech conferences uh, where i could get some inspiration you know to get some knowledge or networking uh, i attended a couple uh, but then everything turned out to be pure marketing like you know uh, it's more of marketing uh, conferences yeah uh, so while i need to attend multiple to figure out what is good right so then i came across a tad summit where most of those topics at that time were related to cpas you know the concept of cpas uh, that was very much interesting for me because that's where i f- at the time that's where i figured that i will have an edge if i move fast mm-hmm. right smart but how to network or how to know more uh, so in that way i somehow from online i have come across tad summit and attended it my first tad summit was in portugal yes yeah wow so the tad summit enabled you because of it's not a marketing company which i tell alan all the time you don't know, you don't know how to market anything you're terrible um but i think alan you need to market you need to let people know especially people young people guys are le- leading that's why i told you we you know we talk about the book clubs That's all they are. They're just here. Yeah, come over here. Give me your money. Come to the show. Let's get a popcorn machine. Everybody go meet in the conference room. But what Tad Summit does and Tad Hack does is so important. That's why I'm so blessed and excited to be working with you because look, he's living proof yeah. right now. You just create. You created a life and 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 a, a great future for this gentleman and his family. He did it. You enabled him. And I, I would I, say I, yes. I, 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 look and you. You are the poster child for Tad Summit. I am going to market the hell out of what you've done in your story. It's a beautiful story. Um I'm excited I was on this podcast because this is the message we're trying to get people. Hey, yeah. you know, we're we're Tad Summit is about innovators. 
Yeah. We're about no BS. You know, you want to come, you want to learn. And we've had many innovative uh, podcasts with companies that are, you know, larger revenues or, or a little bit more established or, but what you've, what you've done is genius. You're a guy who comes out of nowhere uh, with just a PhD and a lot of brains and comes to Tad Summit and builds a business and builds a business in a niche that's untapped. It's genius. Exactly. The story in itself. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, blessing yeah. anything that we can do for you at Tat Summit or anything my side of the fence can do, please let us know. But I mean, what a beautiful story. It is. It's, and the nice thing with this a, year's it's a beautiful story. With this year's Tat Summit, I mean, you, you I mean, you were there, Kalyan, so you know a big piece was understanding how to operationalize your large language models. So there were people there who've been playing with them. You know, again, it's not somebody that's presenting a marketing presentation on the answer is AI. We're going to make lots of money. It's sharing the implementation, showing the two models talking to each other, explaining how there are problems with hallucination. The fact that customer data can be just presented raw, depending on how you've uh, trained the model. So it's always good to be able to meet with the implementers where they are currently playing around, experimenting with the technology to then help you in understanding how it can apply to your business. Because it is moving very fast and we're in this really exciting experimentation phase. I mean, the big companies are claiming the game's over, they've got, you know, everything works, but it's not that. There's a road we've got to walk, but there are some very interesting applications that you saw from like Corel, and uh, Borgia were presenting uh, on their session. We had Rob Pickering uh, was presenting his experiments. So absolutely, I, our focus has always been programmable comps and all the technologies and pieces that can fit together to make communications more successful. Because the bottom line is, it's humans that pay the bills, you know, and they will always need to communicate regardless of how many bots are out there. <laughs> Yeah, well, K Kalon find those humans that are paying the bills, and he found a niche yep, without exactly. any experience. And guy, guy's got a scientist who turns into a businessman. I mean, what a beautiful story! It is. It and, is. And and look, it's it stop saying programmable telecoms. Even yeah. Kalon said it's CPAS. Okay, enough with the <laughs> programmable telecoms. Nobody <laughs> understands that CPAS. <laughs> CPAS AI. Stop. CPAS AI. Please. Kaylin, tell him. Kaylin even said it. Listen to your guy. Listen to your number one student here who built the whole business. But um, exactly. amazing. Exactly. You're, you're going to be my poster child and, and what I'm going to be marketing. And I think you should, you should, you got to get this out to people where he grew up and exactly. people in that community and give them hope and say, you know what? Yeah, I can do something different. Look, Kaylin yes. did it. It's, uh, and, yeah, you know, you know did, I, mean? yeah. I think yeah. that I think you're an inspiration. And I think you need to retitle this podcast as Kaylin the inspiration. <laughs> yes. We I will have that on the weblog. You're an inspiration. Look, all the kids that grew up in your neighborhood, in your town, that are working in IT, that are stuck and would love to do what you're doing but are afraid. Yep. You're an inspiration. Exactly. That's it. Life is about inspiration. Yep. You, you know? Perfect. So again, Kalyan, that was what a pleasure. It is. It's an amazing story. Again, thank you for sharing your story. Thank I'll tell you, you so one, much. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. I mean, before we end, I will tell you one special thing about Tad Summit. You know, when we sit from outside, when we sit from outside, you see the big company. Uh, I don't know if I can take a name of such companies or not. So say the names. This is Tad Summit. Cloud we, we say the names here. We're not afraid. Say the name. <laughs> no, so, give an example. You pick up any, uh, you know, you search cloud telephony, you see the yeah. big names, right? Yeah. Uh, you see uh, air call, you see something, you see uh, X, Y, Z, right? Yeah. But then uh, my initial feeling was maybe they have, uh, they have, they own the technology. That was my understanding. I don't know how to make, how to make big. Mm -hmm. But that's when, when I attended uh, TAD Summit, that's where I got to know that, okay, this guy is using uh, free switch. This guy is using, uh, uh, this planning to shift to Vazo. This guy is using Janus. Yes. 
So yeah. whatever be the name, who has raised millions and millions, but the back end turns out to be the same, which we hear, which exactly. actually those guys are coming to TAD Summit to present. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, look, I mean, we just did a podcast on OpenSet. I mean, look, I don't know if you know, Alan, but Unifonic was just had a thing where they're now a, 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 a unicorn. I mean, yeah. so a unicorn came out of, I wouldn't say came out of Tad Summit, but they've been sponsoring and with you and yes. Kareem has been there for years. Exactly. And I'm sure he's learned, He's I know he's learned quite a bit uh, like this gentleman here through Tad Summit. So we got a unicorn at Tad, go Unifonic, and we've got Kalen, who's an inspiration. And this is by far the best podcast that we've done. And uh, I'm inspired. Again, Kalyan, thank you so much for that. Thank you, my friend.